So in just 72 hours, this video I uploaded has about 4,000 views. Now the objective of this video is to share with you how I did it by just simply sharing my experience. Although 4.5 views is amazing, but the most important part is how many people are actually sitting and watching. The engagement led to them getting me 100 extra subscribers, which of course I'm already monetized. Getting monetized is great, but it isn't the make or break of my business and it shouldn't be for yours. Now we're gonna get into this to see if this was by luck, chance, or did I actually plan this? And I always ask myself these three questions before I upload a video specifically on YouTube. Does it build curiosity? Now the reason why I ask myself this is because if the title or the thumbnail doesn't really pull me in emotionally, I'm probably going to swipe or go on to the next video. And if I'm going to personally do that, nine times out of 10, another person will do that. Another thing I would like to ask myself is, does it spark or challenge any existing beliefs? I'm just gonna abbreviate. Does it challenge or spark any existing um, beliefs? Meaning, do I believe in something so strongly that this video that I came across makes me want to see if it goes against what I already believe. Does it challenge me to be like, hmm, this is interesting. I've never heard anyone go against what I am saying. So it's kind of building interest along with sparking your curiosity. So it kind of plays hand in hand, okay? Now, don't worry, I'm going to show some examples on my channel of some titles and thumbnails I like to kind of uh, toggle between. Lastly, does it agitate or present a solution? Agitate a problem, really. So let's go ahead and get into the titles. I feel like that would probably help guide and understand the thought process between like having these types of questions. Um, solution really slash problem solve a problem or does it agitate the problem so let's just go for an example this video I just did here this is the thumbnail um, I chose there's a few other thumbnails that YouTube is allowing people to test I think it's like a total of three where you get to see the metrics and we'll probably go dive into that uh, as well but this title here I selected um, 52 year old, actually, let's go ahead. I think I have a better screenshot. Yeah, right here. 52 year old makes money online explained in 11 minutes. Pretty simple, pretty straight to the point, right? Nothing like spectacular about it, but I want to break this down because this is another thumbnail that um, is being tested and ran. My father, he is 52 years old. He does make money online. How do I know this? Is because I've helped him make money online. And the second or the last part to this is explained in 11 minutes. So let's go ahead and just break this down. So a 52 year old is making money online explained in 11 minutes. So that's really the, the, the fundamental of what this video is going to um, explain. So let's go ahead and break this down into I guess we could do like little buckets like I've been doing. 52 is really the avatar. Okay, my avatar isn't the best drawn, but this is the avatar. Now the topic is money, making money online. Now the last part was something I was debating to even add or not, explained in 11 minutes. The only reason why I put explain in 11 minutes is because when I finish uploading the video, it said 11 minutes. So I'm no genius. I'm no guru. I am simply someone documenting and sharing what it is she is learning in real time, what is actually working for myself. So when it comes down to titling, I would kind of put this in the category of I'll probably do time. OK, 
okay and i'll probably break this down with you mind you this is me in action there's no script to this video this is literally me breaking down what it is i did so that you can probably do this for yourself so 52 year old right of course i'll be targeting people that are probably 50 years old or plus okay if i did this correctly now not only is it targeting 50 year olds or older i could honestly be targeting a younger demographic as well why is that because the topic of making money online is so versatile it's it's something that most want or most have no idea how to obtain right and I noticed this as I continue to post online and help my other clients that there's always some sort of objective and there's always some sort of problem that needs to be resolved. And I noticed that if I combined um, age with a universal, universal um, topic, it would build that curiosity, right? But if I just added the time factor, because let's face it, everyone nowadays, we're just so, we just want information so fast. I did it in a way that was pretty blatant. Nothing, there's nothing really special about this, mind you. It says 11 minutes here and it says 11 and 33 minutes there not 33 minutes, 11 and 33 seconds there is just to let everyone know that, hey, if you are at this age or if you, you know, want to make money online, I'm going to explain it in less than 11 minutes. This title alone explains, where's my questions at here? It checks off all of these factors if you really think about it. The first one builds curiosity. Hmm, How can a 52 year old make money online, but I'm not even making money online? That could be a, you know, a point. Or the thumbnail, it could be shown, it shows me, right, in this video right here, or in this thumbnail right here, I'm not 52. I don't look 52, but I mean, it, it just kind of, Hmm, how is this possible? Okay. Secondly, it sparks or challenge an existing belief. Now, I don't know what others believe. I'm only speaking from what I've experienced. Mind you, this title and what I am going through, sorry for moving the screen around too much, but this is literally my own experience. Right. I'm not trying to be someone I'm I'm not. I'm literally just sharing with you what I've done, who I've helped and what I'm currently actively doing and achieving. So if you're someone that doesn't want to have a video work automatically for you and mind you, it only takes one video to drive tremendous amount of traffic to the thing you're trying to offer. If you're trying to sell a product, service or support, if that's not something you're wanting This video isn't really for you because you're going to kind of look at this like, what's the point of this video? Now, if you're someone that wants to have a vehicle that drives traffic for you while you're asleep, while you're at home, while you're actually out living life, enjoying friend and family time, what I'm sharing here works for anyone as long as you are posting through your own experience. Okay, because no one can copy and replicate, although they can try, but it's not going to be from the same place, right, from your own experience. So let's get back into this as I explain um, these topics a little a little bit more. Typically, if you're in your older age, you may not be as tech savvy and that might steer you away from getting into the world of online or posting online but i'm here to tell you that for any age there's for every age there is a market the fear or the thought of 
no one's going to listen to me or the feeling of I'm shy, I'm introverted, or it may just be, I, you know, I don't know how to do this. Well, all of this stems and this is the thought that comes when you hear an older age making money online. So I'm just sharing with you and breaking down the core fundamentals as to why I, I worded it like this. I could have switched it up this entirely as I did with this video here. Now, although this is basically the exact same video, I'm simply breaking it down in this one, right? I tested both so that I can come to you and share with you my takeaways. So this video was 10 minutes and I only got close to a thousand views, which is really good in my opinion. In in my honest opinion, views are the most important. I don't, I don't care about virality, although it is nice, but what I care about deeply is connecting with the viewer. Going viral is just to get multiple eyes at once. But if you don't know what to do with that virality, you're just throwing away that opportunity. My goal isn't to share with you how to go viral. My goal is to share with you how to connect with that right individual that you're trying to target. Okay. So here you can see I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm trying to build and create curiosity through my titles and my thumbnails. I want to attract one, an older crowd, two, it could be a younger crowd, three, anybody that wants to make money online in a very simple, non-complex manner because you don't have to have these fancy funnels, you don't have to build these fancy websites, you don't have to get technical with this. All you need to do is post from your own experience because No one can replicate you. Like I mentioned, no matter how hard they try, they just can't. It's almost impossible to do this. For example, I don't have my other video here, but I'll probably do another breakdown of my most most viral video um, that I first posted online. And it did over 665,000 views, I believe now. So as I was saying, the title... I tested both. This is my first test. This is my second test. I call this A-B testing. Now, they're covering the same topics. It is around my father. I helped my father get to X amount online. Now I'm sharing with you as the viewer how you can do it yourself. But it all stems from video content. As I keep preaching, no matter how amazing your offer is packaged, no no matter how fantastically functional your funnel is, if you do not get the visibility to those things, is it even worth building? So the power of content and the way I'm leveraging it isn't through virality. You don't need to go viral to obtain and attract a loyal customer base. All you really need is to understand what it is you're trying to solve. In my case, I enjoy helping service-based business owners slash entrepreneurs to create engaging videos that actually convert their viewers into customers. Mind you, as you can see here, I'm actively testing and showing you in real time, like nothing is hidden. So as you can see here, this one only had 1,000 views. This one was posted three days ago, 4.4K views. Same topic, different thumbnail, different text, a little different style within um, each of the videos. Like this one here, if you go back and you watch it, there's more edits. This one here is literally this, like just like this video, me talking, explaining. So I hope this video has helped you out. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll probably break down my most viral video that hit about 665K views, if I'm not mistaken. And that was my very, very first video. And it was very intentional. 
And um, yeah, just let me know. And I will see y'all in the next video.